got ourselves a question from Sukumar who wrote, Hi, Robert and Patrick. I have noticed that some Blu-ray titles are very grainy, particularly noticeable in darker shots. These are fairly recent films, such as Ocean's 11, 12, and 13, as well as Tropic Thunder. Now, on the other hand, other titles like Madagascar and Batman Begins are extremely detailed, no visible graininess. Is this the result of poor transfers from the original film? Obviously, this is easier with animated titles, but shouldn't the studios do a better job or at least charge less for films they are not doing such a good job on? Signed, Sukumar. Okay. Sukumar, I suspect, like many people, you've been watching a lot of DVDs in the last few years and not spending a lot of quality times in quality theater. Basically, film grade. Film is essentially silver halide on plastic. The little grains come from the, the, the grain on the film you're looking at. The silver halide registers the light. It's developed. They, 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 they cast a light. They, they make a print from the negative. They cast a light through it. And the grain you're seeing is an actual thing that directors and cinematographers play around with. And film grain, especially in dark shots, is a classic sign of a good transfer that hasn't had a lot of post-processing. Matter of fact, a lot of people complain when, when you know, the, Madagascar cartoons really easy not to have film grade because they're all digitally rendered, right? At least all the later stuff. Um, but for a lot of films that are, especially they have a lot of dark shots, a lot of you know play around with focus, a lot of older movies, a lot of '80s movies that were sh shot on really cheap film stock, have a lot of film grade. In some cases, it looks really good. It's part of the cinematic experiences. In some cases, it's just because they were you know in the dark and not using very good lighting. But if the studio does a good job and doesn't do a lot of digital noise reduction on the back end, you will see film grain, and it's a sign that that new Blu-ray player you have and that 1080p screen you're using are actually doing a really good job. Yeah. Um, uh, one title I can point out right off the bat that's relatively new is Planet Earth. I believe it's disc one, the caves episode, mm -hmm. where they go inside, especially when you get to that shot of the giant pile of, I forget what it is. <laughs> bat I think dung. It's bat dung and or just all those A friend of mine nearly lost insects. both his lungs due to falling into a pile of bat dung at the bottom of a cave. But a lot of those shots, if you have them <laughs> on a TV that doesn't have a lot of noise reduction enabled, you'll see uh, a bluish noise artifact mm -hmm. in the background of most of the shots. It's just a sign of them just gating open the camera so much just to get all the light they can on mm -hmm. there. And one thing to, you can do to help avoid how obvious those artifacts are is ensure that your sharpness setting isn't cranked up for any particular reason. Right. Make sure it's set to neutral or uh, I tend to... But you don't like the halos around like the... <laughs> it's particularly bad for grainy artifacts. Mm -hmm. It'll just, it'll, it'll make it stand out even more so. So yeah. that's just one thing to but keep in mind. The grain is there because they did a good job actually in most cases capturing the film and, and didn't wipe it away. They can do that, it just it can I, look weird. I generally too don't recommend turning on any form of noise reduction, mm -hmm. especially with digital content. It just right. it, it can take away from the experience. It can soften the picture when you don't want it to, even even if you find graininess just to be annoying. Now for one particular maybe it's this one particular disc that you're dealing with that's just the problem. Sure, maybe you could, could enable it just for that one movie. Be sure to turn it back off, though. No, it's good. I'm a purist about it's these good. things. Leave, gotta... leave, the, leave the film grain. Enjoy. Yeah. You just you haven't seen film grain because you've been watching DVDs and VHS tapes. Just embrace the film grain. <laughs> <laughs>